time for a Dino Dig update from the Montana Badlands. Uh, I'm Alida Bayol. I'm from Tahiti, and I'm 18 years old. Well, Tahiti is exotic for everybody. To me, Montana is exotic, so I'm here in the Montana Badlands to dig dinosaurs and to fulfill my dream. And Alita's dream brought her halfway around the world from French Polynesia to Montana's dinosaur badlands. So right behind me, there's a jacket with a, a duck-billed dinosaur's tail. And particularly, uh, here it is a tail of a duck-billed dinosaur and a bone that's part of the hip. And they, go, and they are uh, making a trench so that people can go underneath and take it out. A fast learner and important part of the team, Alita quickly learns the business of dinosaur hunting, using both her brain and her back. The work is hard, but she knows she's making an important contribution to science. When I was younger, I wanted to be uh, an archaeologist, because in Tahiti there's full of art Polynesian artifacts, but I prefer paleontology now. Her passion for paleontology is fueled by this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to hunt for dinosaurs in Montana. I really want to be a paleontologist. There's no dinosaurs in Tahiti. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. See more at sciencechannel.com. Watch tomorrow night for another Dino Dig update and catch a full night of Prehistoric Planet every Monday at 8 on the Science Channel. Time for a Dino Dig update from the Montana Badlands. Well, today we're going to be prospecting for bones, and that means that we have to go around and hike around and actually find the bones in the hills before we can dig them up. When you start digging in there and you start finding one bone after another and you just keep following the bones and you keep on finding more and more of the skeleton, it's just an amazing feeling. One of the main concerns out here is scientific value. If we find one isolated bone, that's not going to tell us much. But we'll start out with small fragments. We'll try to trace where they're coming from. Usually they get washed down from a higher elevation, so we'll walk up to the point where we don't see any more fragments coming down and then we'll look and see if we can figure out what spot on the hill they're coming from and hopefully dig back into the hill a little bit and maybe find a bone or a dinosaur. <laughs> we have to hike around the foothills and then from there we have to start hiking up the hills and usually the hills don't like to be nice easy slopes. They like to be very steep, which is nice for dinosaur bones because it tends to keep them in the hill and nice and protected in the dirt. But unfortunately we had to climb up them to get to the dinosaur bones. It usually requires lots of slipping and sliding until we actually get there. So sometimes you'll find a bone and the whole bone will be there, but it'll be broken up into so many small pieces that it'll be next to impossible to collect them all, let alone get them cleaned up and back in one piece. You go away one day without having found anything good, well, that's, that's not too bad. You know you can come back the next day, start out again, and you'll have just as much chance of finding that dinosaur, but you know they're out there and you know that if you spend enough time, you will find one. So, eventually we'll find it. <laughs> See more at sciencechannel.com. Watch tomorrow night for another Dino Dig update and catch a full night of Prehistoric Planet every Monday on the Science Channel.